G-Shock have gone full metal mode with their infamous Cassio lineup. In this video, I'll be showcasing the three full metal G-Shocks that have bolstered the already chock full range of Cassiokes. The Cassioke range is no new player to the world of watches, but these will be the first rendition that come with a fully stainless steel build. This build exudes a level of class that hasn't been seen before in the Cassioke family, and to be honest, I'm really liking it. Obviously, with a full metal build, we have a full metal weight. These weigh in at 165 grams, so they are fairly heavy on the wrist, but rest assured, it is a tough package. You all know the deal by now with a G-Shock. You can beat it up, drop it off a cliff, and it will still be ticking along like nothing happened. You will probably get a lot of scratches on this model, so I wouldn't recommend it, but it's nice to know. Now, these Cassiokes have been built upon the tough solar models, which we have done a video for. I'll link that on the screen now. Meaning you'll basically never need to replace the battery or worry about it losing charge. When exposed to the sun for a little bit, these will have a power reserve of about seven months. Also, they have a Bluetooth connectivity feature, so you can link this watch up to your phone with the Casio Watches app. There is a bunch of features that I can't go over in this video, there's just so many. Moving on to the physical features, we have a one-touch, three-fold clasp, that feels really nice. The bracelet is pretty thick and has these dimples which go all the way up to the case, which Casio have taken from the original 1983 DW5000C, which is pretty cool, they're throwing it back to the 80s. One finish I'm really liking here is the brushed metal look which is applied to the infamous octagonal bezel. This is going to shine nicely in the light and provide some visual contrast against the otherwise smooth stainless steel bracelet. So the case is pretty big. It measures in 44.4 millimeters across and 12.8 mil thick. So it's pretty chunky and would probably be better suited to a large wrist. But nonetheless, these are beautiful looking watches and will serve anyone well as an everyday wear. So we have three models in this particular range, which come in a steel, a black ion plated, and a rose gold ion plated variant. Let me know in the comments down below, which one would you pick? For me, I'd have to go with the steel one as the dial contrasts beautifully with the rest of the watch and it just looks nice. But I'd love to know what you guys think, so make sure to leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friends, and make sure to subscribe for more videos similar to this one. If you want one of these watches, hit that link in the description to head on over to watchdepot.com.au and hit the add to cart button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.